Hi, this is Tanya Lux, and now we're going to have a little bit of fun with clone tinting. And what I'd like to do is combine two different paintings together. To begin with, I already have the painting open. I'm going to open the photo art panels. And you'll see over on the right here in the photo art layout, you also have some extra commands. And for cloning options, I don't want to work on the original document. So I'm going to clone this painting by Ad Van Bakhoven, and we'll start working from the clone source. So step one, clone your image. Second step, at the very top of the photo art panel, I am going to browse out to grab the second painting that I would like to combine with this one. Now one thing to keep in mind is, in this case, the paintings are the same size. So if I toggle the tracing paper on, you'll see the canvas size is exactly the same. So I'm going to leave the tracing paper toggled on and you can always adjust the opacity level to apply more or less opacity as needed while you're working. So now we've got this set up and I want to combine the two paintings together, but I want the colors to mesh. So we're going to take a look down in, in the bottom of the layout here. I've got clone color. I'm going to enable clone color and clone tinting. And this is where the magic comes in. So if we take a look at the color wheel right now, the color that it would be painting with is this blue. I don't want that. I'm going to grab the eyedropper and actually let's come back to this image. I'm going to sample the dark blue from the sky and then we'll toggle the tracing paper back on. And now we need to grab a clone tinting brush and you have all kinds to choose from. Um, obviously the style of this painting is very loose and impressionistic and I think I'm just going to go with the soft cloner to bring this in. So if I press lightly, it's going to very subtly, I'll toggle the tracing paper off, bring in the original image. It's bringing in some of that blue and now the harder you press, the more of the color that you have selected in the color wheel is going to come out. The lighter that you press, it's going to bring in a little bit of the original color of the clone source that you're working with. So I can just, you know, kind of bring some stuff in here. I'm going to press a little bit lighter. So this is pretty cool. We can combine imagery together. Now maybe I want to sample color from over here, get more of that purpley color in the sky so we can combine both of these together, maybe some of this. All right, so this is super easy and really fun. So now we've got two paintings kind of meshing together here. Let's get a little bit more of the purple down here. I didn't, there's too much blue for me, and maybe in the corner over here. All right, now I'm gonna come down to the lower part of the original painting and sample that orange and then maybe that was a little bit heavy handed, so I'm going to press a little bit lighter and bring some of those lights up into the sky here. And there's a lot of different ways that you can use clone tinting. We have a couple different tutorials for you, but this one in particular, I'm showing you how to combine multiple paintings together. All right, so I think the sky looks good, but we could take this even further. So let's come up to the window menu and I am going to open up my textures. So let's go ahead and bring this panel out here. And what we want to take a look at is, first of all, we need to bring a texture that we want to work with in. And the texture that I want to bring in is actually another painting. So I'm going to import this texture there we go we've got the cows and when i show the texture you can see that this painting was not the same size as the other two that i just started working with it's smaller which is okay but we can always transform textures so i could enlarge it if i want to before i begin to do any work with the texture i'm going to take a look at the layers panel and i'm going to add a new layer to bring the elements that I want from this new painting into this one. So we've got the texture, we have our extra layer, 
And now we're going to transform. So I can take the cows, I can move them down in the bottom right hand corner. And once I do that or use any other transformation, I need to commit that. So we'll go ahead and do that. And at this point, we are ready to bring one of the cows in. Now I'm gonna bring the one on the right here. So we have our layer. I need to choose a texture painting brush. So let's see, texture cover. I'll use this stencil flow map. And to begin with, I will leave the visibility of the texture on, but we can turn that off and we could actually, you know, adjust this as well. So you could turn it off entirely or I can kind of use this as a guideline here. Brush really lightly towards the bottom. And then we just, it's almost like cloning this little guy in, but we're working from a texture instead of a clone source. And I'll bring in a little bit of the ground underneath him over here and there. And there we go. So that's combining two different paintings with clone tinting. And then we use textures to bring the cow in. And you can make more adjustments from here, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of the kinds of things that are possible. So continue watching for some other clone tinting ideas.